Welcome, my friends. We're talking about taking down the elusive ring base at Town Hall 12. And I'm, I'm going to also show you a dip attack, um, 12 versus 11. You might be wondering why you're doing that. Well, there's a reason, and we'll get into it. But this is the elusive ring base. Many types of ring bases out there. They're all kind of the same sort of basic design. Town Hall in the middle, typically a lot of traps in the middle as well. Giant bombs, Inferno Towers, EA, um, you know... I would definitely guess that there's going to be Tornado Trap in there, some Teslas. So just be aware of that. And honestly, what is there's many ways to take it down. A brilliant way is a Queen Walk. Now you could do Queen Walk Lalo, you could do Queen Walk Hogs even. You could do Queen Walk Bola Witch, which is this one. Uh, many different strategies. Do you have to Queen Walk? No, you do not. But Queen Walk's a very good, very good strategy on the ring base because it gives you access. One, it just requires a couple wall breakers sometimes or the ram get those air defenses and then uh, because of the ram maybe you don't need a jump but if you want to you could bring a jump old meta would like queen walk valkyries in the middle or something you know sometimes people would do for fun uh, but the bowler witch is, is is much stronger than the valkyries in my opinion uh, but lalo is also uh, beautiful as well just because the pathing's you know it's not hard for pathing for loons uh, you just need to get your hounds out in front some hay spells heal spells things of that nature of course, when you do the Queen Walk La Low, it is, you're going to have to uh, make sure you get troops into the middle, your loons into the middle. So it will require a little bit of funneling, maybe a little bit more finesse than maybe you want. So this is the less finesse way, right? I mean, just a simple plan, a uh, simple entry point. Now he's going to come in at nine, one, a uh, couple reasons. It's, it's away from an inferno, so his healers might not, you know, won't get hit. Um... He could have come, he could have started at three and gone towards 12. That's totally fine. He decided to go for nine. He does get the king down that way. Um, and he's going to come in at six. He's probably, he's going to throw in that ram there, going to get that air defense. Now, if, if you didn't have the ram, uh, you could have brought wall breakers. But actually, breaking in with the ram here at six is actually a good, it's a good plan, right? Uh, you know, the queen walk will do her thing. She'll get funneling in, break in with the ram. Everything will go to the middle, up to the gut. Now, do you need to bring a, a jump spell for the middle? Possibly. I mean, the ram is going to be getting hit hard here, of course, but he's going to, you know, help protect the ram just a little bit by throwing in the P.E.K.K.A. there, nice tanking, and funneling with some bowlers behind. So the ram should be able to get to the middle uh, and not need the jump spell. And even if it can't break open the middle, the good thing about the bowlers, they can bounce off the EA or the, um, the other structures here to get to the town hall. Okay, there goes a heal spell. He's going to pop a rage. Oh, we put the rage early. Okay. There goes the rage right on top of the town hall with a nice freeze. He has Valkyries in the middle and the CC taking down everything in the core. Notice here on the outside, Bowler's Witch is doing some nice work. Of course, uh, yeah, as I said, Tornado Trap right directly in the middle. We already knew that. So Bowler's Witch is on the outside get massive value. Just look at those beautiful bounces on the outside. Everything in the middle is doing well. What happened to the king? Oh, king's still there. Okay, king's still there. Queen still has ability. Healers up, bowlers. He lost a lot of bowlers in the middle. Must have um, giant bombs. Looks like a couple giant bombs and we got a bad split. He didn't have as many. Surprising. It's surprising he doesn't have a little bit more troops in the middle. Um... Yeah, interesting. Maybe some of the heal, the heal spell didn't catch some of it. But that's the thing about the ring base. There's a lot of traps, giant bombs in the middle. You can't protect everything if you get a bad split. Um, I'd have to go back and watch. I was too I was paying attention, to this, I think, to the witches on the outside. But it's all good, though. You know, king is still up. Queen still has ability. And with the thing with these ring bases, you know, queen will be able to get access to everything in the middle just because it's a ring base. She can get through, bang through, no problemo at all. Going to pop her ability. And nicely done for Mr. Tilt himself, Dakota. Nicely done there. Yeah, one way to take down that ring base. Honestly, I would use this strategy over the Lalo. Just because it's probably, if you're watching, you, you want something a little bit simpler. A little bit more uh, spammy and powerful. That's the one to do um, over that Lalo or Hogs. Um, to be honest, um, just a little bit easier. And I know y'all like easy, right? 
I know you like easy. So here is another attack. Now this is a dip attack. Now a lot of people fail on Town Hall 11s. In fact, DLC, even CW invite clans fail on Town Hall 11 dips. So you might be wondering, well, what do you do? I want to show Dakota some love here. Till, I mean, this is not a, this is a, it's a tougher base, right? It's not an internet base, so it's gonna be harder to hit these bases. Uh, not all anti three star bases are like OP or anything, um, but this is way harder than your ring base that we just saw. And yes, I know it's a dip, but people fail, even at the high elite level. So we're going to give Tilt some love and doing another Queen Lock Bull of Witch. Pretty much the same army composition, you notice. This time he does bring a jump spell, but this is a great strategy for dips. Um, if you're not comfortable with La Lo or Hogs, Queen Lock Bull of Witch with a P.E.K.K.A. nicely. Now the P.E.K.K.A. is made a lot, a couple, used for two things. One, it's really good for funneling. Uh, on the outside with some wizards behind. Some people like to do uh, two P.E.K.K.A.s in the middle. Uh, you know, it's a nice, you know, it's kind of tanking for the bowlers as they push in. They, they move faster than golems. Now, unfortunately, uh, he tried, looks like he, you know what, he definitely wanted the, the queen to probably go towards, not this way, because he doesn't have a free spell and he's going to lose all of his healers. Uh, so he definitely wanted the queen probably not to go this way. He wanted her to meet up with his kill squad. Unfortunately, that, that did not happen. But even with that mistake, still able to recover here. Queen doesn't lose the healer, so that's good. Kill squad going in. He's sticking to the plan. Nice warden ability. He is going to end up losing all those bowlers there. Why do they get stuck on the wall? It's really bad AI, AI right there. It's a really unfortunate. But they break through. Still breaking through. Trying to get to the multi there. No queen to help out. Man, look at that multi, guys. They cannot get... Wow, they cannot even get to the multi. Looks like the queen's going to get it in the end. Nice bowler bounces. Yeah, still smashed it. Um... Even with a couple, even with the queen walking on the outside, but of course, if the queen walked in here, which she definitely wanted at three, she would have grabbed that inferno tower, would have really helped things out. But yeah, great dip strategy if you need it. You know, you should try it out, guys. Definitely try the dip strategy out. It's a really good one. And uh, yeah, that'll wrap up today's video. Some town hall twelve action, bowler witch, queen walk bowler witch, very very powerful attack. Uh, for dipping and for 12v12, and we'll see you around in the next one. Halo out.